Hi, here I am, back again. Are you tired of me? I hope not. So today, I'm going to do another painting for you, and I'm going to start with a, a strange color right in here. It's kind of a strange color, isn't it? It's orange and purple together. And, um, and I want that to be darker, so I'm going to bring in darker color right in there. Maybe, maybe I'll pick up some blue. Right here I want darker, and right here I want darker. And then I'm going to come across here like this. And uh, another way across like that. Up in here, I'm going to soften it with water. And um, I'm going to bring in some, uh, some light blue, I think. I don't want to get too blue, but uh, I want a little bit of blue right in here. Just kind of adding water. by a one that I did a while back in a different uh, version, but uh, same um, design. And uh, so that's why I keep looking back to see if I'm doing it. I did the, I did the other one on a, a 22 by 30, so this doesn't uh, It's uh, easy to get everything on there like I had before. Bring a purple down, down here. I want this dark, darker right in here. Maybe when it's not quite as dark, dark. Bring us down like this. This over here like this. Maybe something in here like this. I like the design I had, and uh, so that's why I'm trying to get the same thing. Something like it, you know. You can't copy anything the same. But I'm going to bring just some darker colors in here, green and purple. 
drop it down in here. Just like that. Kind of goes over this way a little bit too. Down in here. I want it to be more colorful. Now that's the beginning. Now I'm going to bring in, I'm always saying bring in, oh, I should get that out of me. This is that bleed proof white, Dr. Phil Martin's. It's watercolor and it's, uh, I'm going to use it today for right in here. Back in here, you can't see it, it's white. In here, some of this color over in here, maybe some up here. Gotta carry colors around. There's gonna be some up in here. Well, this over here is still wet. I'm gonna spray it just a little bit. Just kind of let it run down. Now I've taken a smaller brush and I'm going to start to put in just a little bit of this color in here. But you don't know what this is going to be to you. Well, I'm bringing in some dark is um Have birch trees, don't it? Well, that's just what it is. And there's going to be one right here. Maybe, maybe a little more crooked. Like that. And there's one there and one there. Razor. Right 
a little bit like that. See, this could be a little bit lighter. This is kind of straight. Uh, sorry, make it a little bit lighter. Spraying this just a little bit. See what happens. Sometimes it's just things you want to do. I'm going to put some of this on. Let that run down like that. This is, this is an abstract, you know, not supposed to be. Now I'm taking in some white. So, um, are you paint today? I hope so. It's a nice tight day. Now we'll put some more light on this. Yeah. Especially around the edges. You can see it better. You're going to show up. Because this is so wet. I don't want the tree to look perfectly straight. Same way with this one. Maybe this is a little more cushion. And then down in here. Have it come right down here. This has got to have more weight on it. They're kind of small. Let me make that one fatter. Maybe there's one over here. Now this one has got to have more. It's coming down like that. And this I'm taking my small brush now and uh, see if I can do something over here. I want to make these trees come up like this. the limbs coming in here. And this is a, a combination of uh, brown and the other color. I put some texture on these. Sometimes they just, you don't know how they're, how they're fixed, but the black on it is, a lot of times comes out all nice that. Sometimes, sometimes it just, just what you want to do. 
And these trees have come in with just some design like see. Make them a little brighter. That one's kind of like this. I know I keep putting white on this because I think I'm not satisfied with it. Satisfied with something. You go back and you work on it a little bit. Maybe if you can get so you like it. I don't know. Sometimes you can. This is the main tree. And um I've got a this is a high uh, not ink, but it's a, a Dr. Phil Martin's Black Star, it's called. I'm going to see if I can do what I want to with it. I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to do that. And I didn't want it to run down so much, but I can fix it. I'm trying to make the limbs these trees. You see? I've got to fix that one. This is nice because it's got a dropper. But you have to be careful because <laughs> you see what happened there. But then if you get too much on your on it, then it's bad. See? Put it over in this one. I use this brush and I'm coming in. This is watercolor. It's black, yes. And so you can kind of smooth it down a little bit. It's got a branch. It's going to run down. Maybe that's what it want, wants to do. I don't think they're always that straight. You know, they are pretty straight up and down. And this one has got to be a little bit. One more time, I'm putting weight on this tree. I, I thought I lost a lot of it. Maybe it has some limbs in white coming down there. Same way as this. Put another, I want another branch, but it'll show up there. One coming off from here, like that. Maybe some up in here. I like it. 
Jack Rush. You know, I almost need a dark in this right here anyway. Otherwise, you can't see the, tr the tree that good. And, uh, so I'm going to... My Bible verse today is in Psalm um, 27, and it says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? And then on four, it says, One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. The beauty of the Lord. You know, I think the Lord liked pine birch trees a lot. I think they're beautiful. Um, I can't really portray them like, like they are, but, um, you know, God so loved the world that he became, that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have an everlasting life. Isn't that wonderful? To have everlasting life. We don't have life long on this earth. I mean, more times I'm going to be around this place, but I know the place that I'm going is going to have me a studio where I can paint the universe. God, I know, is going to give it to me. And so today, I hope you know Jesus because he is so wonderful. His loving kindness that he would send his son, that Jesus would take the cross, all the sins of the world on him and die for our sins. Can you imagine? It's just it's a mystery to everybody. But that's what happened. But he didn't die. He rose again, and he's alive. And he's coming soon. You better be ready. It says now is the time to accept him. Don't wait. Tomorrow might not come. So I I'm going to... Well, there it is in the mat. And by the way, I correct my age. I'm really 98. I'm not 89. So that's in the mat. And I've got, I still need to work on it a little bit. I, I feel like this is not doing exactly what I wanted to do. But um, I hope you like the demonstration. It's a different design. And uh, so um, I'm glad you're watching today. And I sure hope it's painting, and if you're not, you better start. Because I know how it means a lot. It takes you, takes you into a happy state. So I'm going to say, that I'm going to try to do a close-up of this. And I have to do this by myself. So usually I don't do so good. It's a close up there. That's not bad. It's a little small. You could, I could work on this for a long time, but uh, it's, as far as I know, on the video. It's all I'm going to do. Thank you for watching. Bye. I changed it a little bit. I made these trees in front of that line. It looked like a fence. So, um, like I said, I could keep working on this for a long time. And uh, I'm right in here. 
you trees go beyond above that weight, that line. Otherwise, it looks like a fence. And I think that's the way I'll leave it. So, thank you for watching.